get you know getting a chance to finally play after months and months of waiting um you know practicing without an end and, and then finally getting to this getting to this day essentially yeah i mean it's uh it's been a really long journey for everybody uh every team in the country that's playing right now is has experienced it but it's really just comes down to staying at it every day coming and just trying to get a little bit better every single day and our coaches have done a great job of just being there for us. It's a tough time, and they're always open door mentality. You can go talk to them whenever, and they've just really kind of kept us locked in. And uh, just very, very blessed to be a part of such a great program, and very happy that this uh, opportunity presented itself when we were able to play today. And I think all the guys on this team deserve a chance to play. And um, just, just very blessed and uh, very happy to, to come out of here with a W. At, at what point did you think that this season was going to happen, uh, Joe? You know, was it um, when you got when the schedule got released? Um, you know, when you guys started really started hitting in practice? I mean, when when did it kind of level for you? To be completely honest, I didn't think it was going to happen until we kicked off today. Uh, I mean, we've been testing really frequently. Anything could happen at any time. Still can happen. So we have to keep doing a great job of that. Um, and you know, it's just it's been a a long road of you're playing, you're not playing, you're playing, you're not playing. So um, definitely had a little bit of a pessimistic view on it. I was, I was going to wait until we got, got out on the field, but again, just such a great feeling to be out there with everybody and everybody deserved that today. Uh, Joe, there's a lot of guys on this offense who haven't played together until today, but you guys look like you had a lot of good chemistry. What can you say about that? Yeah, a lot of different pieces, a lot of no linemen, receivers, running backs, quarterbacks. And, uh, you know, it's just one benefit of COVID has been we've been able to get a little bit more reps with everybody. There's been more practice time. But with that being said, that can't happen unless the coaches are getting us together and, and working everything. And really, we just had a really solid game plan today. We came in confident and comfortable with it. And it's just a matter of trusting your guys. And I think uh, before the game, we all just kind of looked at each other and knew we're in a good spot. We know our potential and just wanted to go out and showcase it for the first time. And um, definitely going to keep getting better. I have to come in and work every week and uh, just go from there. Yeah, it was such a short season, right? Four games before a conference title game, and then you know the, the playoff. I mean every game means a lot more than, than it would in any other year. I mean, in that sense, how um, excited are you guys to be able to start off the season the way you did today? Yeah, very important to get a win, especially here at home. Um, just got to keep it going now. You know, like you said, there's not not a whole lot of wiggle room for error. Uh, and that's just how it's going to be. It's adversity. We've been facing it for over a year now. And we just have to hit it face on and, and uh, just really do the best we can to be the best football team we can be. And um, obviously, great start. Happy to get a win. There's a lot of stuff we have to improve on. But, um, you know, just going forward, just take it week by week and uh, just keep doing what we've been doing and, and um, staying healthy and just uh, hopefully carry this throughout the season. I'm, I'm obviously extremely happy for our team and coaches and everybody associated with Duquesne football. We really uh, needed this thing after all that work from being 15 months away and going through everything. And I'm proud of the guys. I'm happy for the team. I'm really happy for them. I'm happy for the staff. Um, it wasn't a pretty win, um, but we'll take them any way we can up here on uh, Rooney Field. Jerry, you kind of mentioned the 15 months off, right? And um, just getting to today, was was there at any point that you didn't think you might get here? Or, or I guess, when did it kind of click that you that you would? I thought uh, as we went a couple weeks into camp and our, our testing numbers were good, um, we were following protocols. I had some meetings with the NEC because I wasn't sure how what the other teams were like in their areas and on their campuses. But there was a point two weeks ago, we had a Friday morning meeting with all the head coaches and it sounded pretty positive. It sounded like everybody was doing what they needed to do uh, and we had a chance. Uh, but when you say that, this week was one of the worst weeks of my life 
regarding nerves because, you know, our guys started practicing going, it's game week, it's game week. And I knew we weren't home because you could get a test on Saturday. We test three times a week. And if you test positive on Saturday, you're out for this football game. So for me, it was Saturday morning, middle morning, and all our guys were good. That's when I relaxed and said, we're going to play this football game. Then all your guys were good. You didn't have any guys missing because of protocols or anything today? Uh, we had a number of guys on the injury list, um, which would have included some of the things and protocols, yes. Gotcha. Wasn't a, it wasn't a perfect game, but I mean, again, getting that kind of win and it's a four game season, four game regular season, at least before a potential conference, you know, title game and everything. Um, with with it being such a shorter season, every game kind of means more, but just to get the first one, um, I mean, what did you tell your team out there after the game? You know, will you guys huddle up and and, uh, and talk about after this one? Yeah, it's pretty hard because I have a mask on and we're trying to kind of keep some distance. I wasn't able to spend as much time maybe as I could. I'll get that in a Zoom meeting, meeting with them. I just told them I was so proud of them. Um, I, I told them that, you know, it's been a while since we've won a game here on Rooney. And we've worked really hard for it, and they all deserve this. It, it's kind of, you know, I don't want to say ugly, but uh, we made a lot of mistakes and, um, you know, kept the game close. I think we kept the game close, and um, and uh, even so, uh, when it's when it's over, it's a W, and uh, I was very very proud of them. And I did tell them also, you know, it's four games, like you said, um, we can't afford to let down with the protocols. Um, you know, I know their parents are here; they're going to see them after. They just have to be uh, extra cautious uh, as to what they're doing with their parents and and where they're going. Because, you know, we, we got off to a good start here. We want to finish this four-game season. Coach, your offense, for the most part, hasn't played together at all, at least most of these guys. Uh, what can you say about the chemistry they showed today? On a lot of ends, it was very impressive. And um, especially that first drive. When I'm worried about 10 new starters, new positions or new starters, um, we sure look pretty good. Um, and we had a couple couple things we didn't execute real well uh, that I thought could have kept the ball moving and put some more points on and maybe got a little distance there. Uh, but it was very impressive the way they played together. I give a lot of credit to the O coordinator, Anthony Doria, run game coordinator, Matt Stansfield. Um, they've done a really good job with Zoom calls. You know, um, and there were times where, you know, they're very creative, but I had to dial them back a little bit and say, look, let's just execute. But I, I think a lot runs through uh, the guy running the show on that field. I think a lot of what you're asking me, uh, and it's only been one game, but I've been with him now for, for a year because he was here last spring. I'm going to tell you, a lot runs through that kid. And I'm not just talking about his performance or his arm or his legs. I just think he's a great leader.